All right, friends, before I talk about the reading challenge that I mentioned in the last video, I do want to say this kit is from Caress Press. It is the September 2023 mystery kit, and I paired with it a punk foil bundle from Scribble Prints Co. in, I think it was Lavender Hollow. I don't remember. I think it was Lavender Hollow. I also showed some of the Scribble Prince Co. birthday overlays and everything. I think I only used, if I remember correctly, I only used the, um, oh wait, I think I used the whole reinforcers and then a full box, the full box overlays. I didn't use the, um, bottom washi or the header overlays. Oh no, I did use some of the header overlays. What am I talking about? I did use some of the header overlays. Okay, so the birthday stuff, I used the whole reinforcers, a few of the full box overlays, and the header, some of the header overlays. Okay, so let's talk about this reading challenge I mentioned in the last plan with me, Nordic Nights, that I did. Oh, before I forget, um, I used this kit because it was my sister's birthday on Monday. And I let her pick out whatever kit she wants to use in my planner for her birthday. So this is the one that she chose. Okay, so. And then my voice as well. I'm sick. I mentioned in the last video that I was sick and I'm still sick because it's the same day. Okay, focus. Uh, 2024 keyword reading challenge. I found this on girlxoxo.com. I will have it linked down below for you guys. So basically, the idea is every month, well, they give you the whole year, but basically every month they give you a list of keywords. So you can either combine the keywords and a book title, or what I've been doing, because I can't find any books. I'm trying to read through my stash, and this has been a really great way for me to do that. But um, basically, I've been choosing keywords and then putting a book or pairing a book with it. So for example, January's were the keywords secret, heaven, true, house, come, only, no, and winter. So I read a book called Only She Came Back and then I also read one more from that challenge. Which one is it? Oh, One True Loves. So One True Loves from Taylor Jenkins Reid and then Only She Came Back. Um, Variations of keywords are allowed. All of the rules are posted on the page. I will have it linked down below for you guys so you can check it out. It says they're moving to a different website. So I'm going to click on this other website and see what's going on here. But yeah, so that's the challenge that I, oh, she says 2024 keyword challenge check-in. Um... <laughs> Okay, she didn't say if she read any. Oh, she did. She did put that she read. I don't remember. Anyways, um, yeah, that's my reading challenge that I'm using. I have also been, I have a bunch of reading challenges that I've been, um, just like casually dabbling in. I won't say that I'm like you know, super involved in any of them or super committed to any of them except for this, um, this keyword challenge. And honestly, I haven't been like completely tackling it. It's just, like I said, it's just a really good way for me to, um, to work through my book stash. Um, speaking of book stash, so I found a website or a, a, uh, what do you call it? A uh, an app on the phone. I think it's called Libib or something like that. It lets you scan your books and add them. So I officially have a, an updated version of the books that I own in my phone and it's very nice. And also I'm watching the video right now and it's like majorly glitching out. I don't know what it is about um, Google Docs because I I have Microsoft Word on my computer for school and everything, but I like to use Google Docs for a lot of stuff because I'm able to more easily access it, obviously, because, I mean, I have my Google signed in on my computer and everything, and uh, my computer is at work, too. So it's just way easier for me to be able to um, 
to access the Google Docs from literally anywhere because um, I have it on my phone, I have it on my home computer, of course, and then I have it on my computer at work. So it's way easier for me to access it. But I think this this spread turned out really good. I wasn't, I'm not super thrilled with it. It's not, I definitely think I, this would have been a spread that um, if my sister hadn't chosen it, I probably would have tried to sell it on like a buy sell trade group or something because yeah, I just, I'm not a huge fan of this uh, particular kit. But let's see what happened this week. I had to go to the dentist, which is a normal thing. My coworkers joke around. I think I mentioned this in a plan with me a while ago. I, but my coworkers like to joke around that I um I'm having an affair with my dentist and I told them that I think I would get more than just um holes in my mouth and a numb face from um, if I was having an affair with a dentist and also an empty bank account, I would hope that he would be willing to like throw me a discount, you know, like I throw him a bone, he throws me a discount, you know what I mean? Sorry, that's crass. I shouldn't say things like that. Um, what happened? I had to work this weekend. I worked our, our new schedule started this week, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to say our schedule, our new schedule started this week. So, um, things were, things were just great. Um, so before I was working Monday, eight hours, well, technically eight, I was there for eight and a half, um, cause we get a half an hour lunch that we have to clock out for, but, uh, Monday I was working eight and a half hours. Uh, Wednesday I was there for nine and a half hours. And then Thursday I was there for 10 and a half hours. Well, we got a new supervisor and I'm not going to get started on him, but, um, he's changed our schedule. Um, and I am now working Monday and Wednesday, 10 and a half hours and eight on Thursday, along with my still every other weekend, 12 and a half hours on Saturday and Sunday, which is just glorious. Let me tell you, but yes, this was my sister's 21st birthday there on Monday, the 29th. I picked that sticker for her. First of all, because a lot of the birthday stickers that I have just really didn't fit the vibe of this kit. But also because it kind of fits her vibe. She doesn't wear tank tops or earrings. She's got gauges, I guess, but I don't know. It just kind of reminded me of what she would look like if she wore tank tops and earrings. She's just cute. Um, And then let's see here. My cousin's birthday was on Wednesday. I think my cousin, the same cousin and her husband's anniversary was actually on Monday as well, but I didn't mark it. So happy anniversary very belated by the time you guys see this, but, um, happy belated anniversary to Brady and Caitlin. It's very exciting stuff. Um, what else happened this week? Not a lot happened. I got McDonald's for lunch on Thursday. That was very exciting. I don't get to use that McDonald's happy mail, happy mail. <coughs> oh God. Sorry. Happy meal box or icon, the new icon in the, um, scribble prince co foil bundles i don't get to use that very often because believe it or not i actually don't eat mcdonald's that often i used to but i don't so much anymore i couldn't tell you why besides the fact that it just really hurts my stomach and it's like okay the only time i can really eat mcdonald's is when i know that i'm not gonna have to work or do anything the next day and very rarely does that ever happen so you know it is what it is I was reading a book this week called The 610 Man, which I enjoyed. It was, it was interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember a lot about it. It was, um, it's about an ex-military guy who, um, left the military because of something terrible that happened within his, um, company or his office or whatever you want to call it. And, um, they, the military basically offers him an out if he can provide evidence that his boss is um, up to some sketchy things. And so, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's the finished spread. Thank you all very much for watching. And until I see you next time, uh, bye bye.